So uh, this was a, an investigator initiated study by my uh, boss, Dr. Kotler. And uh, he is uh, interested in uh, mitochondrial function and uh, uh, heart. Uh, we started off from the idea that uh, zodavudine is a mitochondrial toxin mm -hmm. and uh, tenofovir is, um, is a less um, damaging to the mitochondria. Mm -hmm. So uh, we uh, uh, initiated a switch study from AZT, from Zodavidin containing uh, HIV therapy to Tenofovir and we studied the uh, mitochondrial function in uh, muscle, adipose tissue, liver um, and heart. Mm -hmm. And uh, but the parameters that you used were uh, exercise and the VO2 like you said to, uh, to understand what you, what you learned about the loss of the ability, the slope of the lactate and so forth? So uh, we looked at um, functional measurements, as you underline. Um, in the muscle, the functional measurement for mitochondrial health would be VO2 max. That's uh, the oxygen uptake uh, per uh, kilogram body weight per minute. And uh, that did not change regardless um, of switching or not switching to tenofovir. Um, and mitochondrial uh, function in the heart uh, was uh, uh, evaluated by um, the peak heart rate during exercise on the bicycle test. And um, if, you, uh, if one stayed on zodavudine, uh, the peak heart rate diminished. Uh, whereas mm -hmm. um, if one switched to tenofovir, uh, the peak heart rate stayed the same suggesting a possible deterioration of mitochondrial function in the myocardium, in the heart mm -hmm. muscle, uh, with continuing on zidavudine-based heart. Mm -hmm. um, liver mitochondrial function was estimated by lactate clearance, and, um, and, and the lactate uh, was cleared faster after exercise, uh, in the subjects, in the volunteers that switched to tenofovir, uh, suggesting of improvement in mitochondrial function in the liver cell, as opposed to uh, uh, volunteers uh, that did not switch, that stayed on zidavudine, whose uh, lactate clearance uh, did not change. In answering your question, you have a good p-value, but you don't really have that many uh, subjects that have been, patients that have been tested. So I think it's only, what, 13 or... We had yeah. about six patients that uh, were randomized to switch to tenofovir and five patients that uh, continue mm -hmm. as a thing. So an overall of 11 patients. 11 patients. Uh, we got body composition data um, on 12 patients. So we have an extra patient in the switch group. Um, and interestingly, um, in uh, adipose tissue um, uh, data, we did see a uh, loss of adipose tissue from all compartments, including subcutaneous adipose tissue and, um, and visceral adipose tissue. Mm -hmm. So a loss of adipose tissue in uh, subjects that were on zidavidin, that continued mm -hmm. on zidavidin, whereas uh, the subjects that switched did gain a little bit. The differences, however, um, between subjects that stayed on zidavidin and subjects that switched were um, highly significant. Mm -hmm. um,